Hello, you wonderful people. Today, we're going to talk about, for the emptieth time, should I learn to code in 2024? And if you search anything around this video on YouTube, or topic, I should say, you're going to th find things like, is learning to code still worth it? And the thumbnail would be, don't waste your time, that it's over, like, the the that's it, there's nothing left. And the thing is, I think what you need to do is you need to understand that there's a hype cycle that's happening right now that is really, really off the charts. And what I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people on YouTube who are YouTubers that want to get views, they want to get the clicks, they're going to make content around things that are dramatic, they're exciting. You know, it's over, you're all effed, like whatever, don't waste your time. But the truth is, you have to kind of stop and think about why certain things or certain people would say certain things. It's because it drives traffic to my channel or their channel. I'm going to get a lot of views. I'm going to make a lot of income on YouTube, right? I'm a developer. I don't make any money on YouTube. I don't really care for it, but I do want to kind of find a level-headed approach to all of you wondering, should you learn to code and kind of tell you, listen, just slow down and use some common sense. So first thing I'm going to start, if there's an incentive you're going to push an agenda. So I'm going to go scroll to where Jensen says a few things. I'm just going to listen a little bit. Over the course of the last... By the way, uh, it's me reacting to some dude reacting to some dude talking and then me reacting again. Uh, interesting. But let's see what he says. 10 years, 15 years. Um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. Oh my God. Did you see, hold on a second. Did you fact, see the smart? It's almost exactly the opposite. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. Look at that smirk right there. Hold on. He goes like, yeah, yeah. marketing speak, smirk. You know, uh, let's keep that in mind in just a second. It is our job to create computing technology such that Nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. The funny thing with that statement, even if it was true, it's not true, is that does even everybody want to be a programmer? You know what I mean? Like everybody in the world wants to be a programmer. He talks about a lot of stuff about like having domain knowledge and everything like this. But here's the thing. He is creating a product that he wants to sell and he wants to hype it up. Why do people want to hype stuff up? Well, because when you talk about hype, you know, like back in the day, like before iPhone came out, like way before the iPhone, we used to have like AT&T, I think, and like the future is, and they show like these cool devices that never came to fruition. It was just the hype to market and to build excitement. And if you take a look at NVIDIA, yes, they're growing. They're going insanely fast. And I'm going to say, <laughs> buy some NVIDIA stocks. I'm, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not a financial person, so don't listen to me. But I think they're doing pretty good. A funny story that makes me depressed, I will tell you later, uh, close to the end of the video. But here's the point, is that he has a job to do, and it's to get more people to invest in his company, both from buying stock and from using his services and his products. So when you hear stuff like this, where someone says, it's going to take all the jobs, all this is going to happen, right? Um, you have to understand that there is a little bit marketing speak, marketing talk. Before I take a look at what the rest of the things that this guy was saying, you could watch his video, uh, just search learning to code, it's still worth it. But he talks about his thoughts and, you know, he gives it like in a couple of years, maybe there'll be a product, but even he admits, uh, Volo, that we're not there yet. But a couple of years, I don't know, I call suspect. And then he talks about best way to learn, talking about, um, let me share the screen, like, and then he talks about, you know, best way to learn here, where he says his thoughts, don't go to college, you know, do self-taught route, use chat GPT, whatever, whatever. And then he talks about, you know, some of the best ways of learning to code. And then he talks about why bother, what's the point? So the whole point that I want to say, everybody has an opinion. And so what I would say is you have to learn to be able to tell the difference between hype and difference between reality. I talk to a lot of software engineers day to day. Nobody is worried about their job being replaced with AI. Um, if I were to worry, I would worry about a person who utilizes 
AI tools to be more productive, to get more done, they will replace a developer who, let's say, is mediocre, not putting any effort and not knowing how to use these tools to be productive. That I could see, but AI by itself is not going to replace developers anytime soon. And maybe you could clip this and then tell me I was wrong, but I'm still glad that I'm continuing to learn to code and continuing this journey. But just so don't listen to me because I'm some random dude uh, on a YouTube with opinion, there's a lot of people have opinions. I would definitely suggest check out channels like Primogen, right? You know, see what he says about development or find people that actually have a more common sense approach talking about the reality of, you know, what this means. Recently, I discovered a channel, which I think is really awesome. Let me see if I could go into my history, see if I could find it. Yes, how to create AI influencer for free to Jesus Christ. What are you watching, Paul? This is ridiculous. Anyway, before my history and my recommendation get me in trouble. And my God, am I not seeing this video here? This is ridiculous. Let me search. Is AI going to take all of, of our jobs? And what's crazy, like the content that comes top, it's always very hyperbolic. And then a lot of the, you know, opinions that are more closer to actual truth, you don't see them. I, and this is one of the issues I have, that a lot of this is being driven by hype. Like, for instance, I want to find um, the, art, the video that I saw that was more uh, level-headed are there, but I can't even find it. Are there, I'm trying to, internet bugs. I think inter, internet bug. I think that's the name of the channel. Internet of bugs here. So here's the thing, right? There's I'm channels like this. On the internet of bugs, which is both smaller YouTube channels, right? And the whole thing that I want to tell you is, um, some people, right, will tell you hype and some people will tell you things that are more like common sense and not just hype looking for views. And this is why I like this channel. So I want to give a huge shout out. Let me subscribe to him for my channel. I subscribe to him from my other channel. But Internet of Bugs, he, uh, we're not going to watch this whole video here, but I'm going to post it in the description uh, below. But he has and makes really, really good um, points in this video about why you shouldn't worry like if AI is going to replace the jobs for the next four, five, six years, right? It's the, like the only thing that in my mind you should worry about is these things. Number one, as a developer, you should always strive to grow your knowledge and you should always try to be the best developer that you can be. So if you are a mediocre developer, yes, I'm sorry, I think things are going to be tough. Number two, learn how to use these AI tools to help you be more productive, to get more done in less times. Okay, very good. And number three, continue to improve your advanced knowledge of coding, understanding how things work. So you're not just a developer from the standpoint what people say, code monkey, which I hate that term, but the idea is that you always want to strive to be the best that you can. And you know, talk to other software engineers and not YouTubers. And so uh, I'm going to put the link to this video in the description to my video, but follow people that are developers like Web Dev Cody and make your opinion based not on YouTubers, but developers who are working in the industry and who understand the lay of the land who could give you real advice. And so the last thing I'm going to say to finish up, because I don't know if I told you, uh, NVIDIA, <laughs> my God, like completely random story. And this is what I'm telling you. Learn to code, but also invest in good companies. Don't listen to me 
I'm not a financial advisor, but the only reason I'm going to tell you the story. So I'm going to put five years mark. So in 2020, right here, uh, I met a guy who worked for Microsoft and he also uh, did a lot of stuff with AI. He was an AI scientist that I know. And he told me, Paul, do you invest? I'm like, uh, like not really, kind of. I just have my, you know, 401k and my, you know, mutual funds, whatever. And he told me like around this time, buy NVIDIA and buy Microsoft. Those are the two companies he told me to buy. I didn't buy them, right? And so I missed out on this insane growth. I'm not saying go ahead and buy stocks because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving you advice, but this is what I'm telling you. If you want to kind of hedge yourself in the future when you are looking to take advantage of all these new things that are coming up, invest in your education. You know, I want to learn computer science. I want to go to get a degree still go get a degree if you're able to. If it's too expensive, go to community college. If that's still expensive, go the self that route, whatever your situation. If I could go back in time, I would go get my uh, bachelor's degree in computer science, which I'm going to try to go part-time if I can uh, because I just want to. I love it. It's fun. I don't really care for like the fact that I need it, need it, but I think it would be good to learn some of the computer science uh, concepts because I enjoy coding so much. So if you enjoy coding, invest in yourself to be the best developer that you can't try to understand things on a much deeper level. And the second point, if you're so afraid of AI, AI is going to take your jobs. If AI is going to take developer jobs, by that time, there'll be no jobs left. Because if you think about developers create services for the world to function. And if there is no need for developers, then there's no need for anything, right? As hyperbolic that sounds. And if you really are nervous, maybe invest in companies that produce these awesome services, you know, that you will be like, you know, if, if NVIDIA is going to take all the developer jobs, let me invest in NVIDIA. At least that way I'm going to make my money through investing in the companies that are going to replace us. But I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. And I think the best thing we could do is be responsible and try to get points of views from all, all sides and use our critical thinking to make that decision. So if you made it this far, I thank you because this was the most ridiculous video probably you've seen. And the second thing I'm going to say, I just have an opinion, just like every person on internet has an opinion. You have to understand that even you have your own opinion, but you need to try to filter out reality from hype and make your best decisions. Based on what I see from the people that I work with, I think going into a profession which focuses on software engineering, building software, I think it's still a smart move. If anything, you're still teaching yourself the language of technology. And the more technologically inclined you are, I think the better off you'll be going to the future. But with that being said, if you hate coding and you don't want to do it, I totally get it. There's plenty of other jobs you could do, um, like being a plumber being a contractor, being an engineer like that designs bridges, right? Being a school teacher, all those are valid options. The one thing that I see a lot of people think of software engineering because they just want to figure out how quickly can I make money the fastest way possible. If you're just thinking of getting money as quick as possible, software engineering is not for you. It takes time, it takes hard work. But with that being said, thumbs down, thumbs up, trash talk in the comments, I don't care. I love you all anyway, and I'll see you in the next video.